excitement building? Yeah, I think um, you know there's been a there's been a lift of obviously intensity and excitement in and around the training um, camp and, and around the group in in particular. So um, it's an exciting week in your career, um, whether you're a coach or a player or you're involved in the club in any capacity. And, and one you know we want to make the most of. We spoke after the game with the Dragons and you said you've got some bad news to deliver to some guys. Has that been done yet or when will that be done? Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, that was done today and you know, difficult, uh, difficult. Um, you know, I didn't think it would be as difficult um, as it was receiving the news, as giving it, but it, you know, it's pushed it really close um, because I'm told you know, some of my friends that they're not going to be involved in obviously one of the biggest games in, in the club's history in a long time, so um, you know, not something... You know, I want to do again, and, and I hope, I really do hope, and I said this to them all, that we've got an opportunity to play in another final, and um, you know, I can select them in the 17 because the seasons they've had and the, and the form that they've shown, they probably warrant um, some success this year. But that's probably been part of your success, the fact that your squad has competed and done so well, all of them really. Yeah, for sure, and um, I think that, that just shows the strength of the squad as well, and, and the strength of the squad that's needed, obviously, you know, to achieve... Um, trophies on a couple of different fronts and, and that's you know currently where we sat at the moment and we're playing an opposition on Saturday that are currently in that position as well so you know, that's going to change for, for one of those teams come Saturday afternoon late afternoon um, hopefully it's not it's not us uh, when you put your squad together as you did at the end of last year you must have been excited by the talent you had have they surpassed your expectations um I think you always believe you know you can you can achieve something um but I think I think you know since my first year I think there was a 14 player turnaround. Obviously, you know changes. I, I openly, you know, publicly stated that they needed to be made for the for the long term successes of the club. We couldn't have carried on and continued to have paid the salaries that that we was paying and, and the return that we was getting back for those players. Um, year two, I think it was a seven player turnaround, um, and next year it'd be a two player turnaround. So I think we've we're steadily going in the right direction. Um, but yeah, this group that we've put together, you know, I'm hoping. Um, it can achieve the the success that it's that it's capable of achieving. And what would it mean to you to bring the first Challenge Cup win at Wembley to the Black and White? Yeah, I'm hoping I'll never have to buy a pint in a pub in, in Hull again. You know, that's um, that's the ultimate aim. Um, it's a special, you know, it would be a special achievement for this club. Myself personally, it's um, something I'm reminded of frequently. Obviously, not never been able to win in the the nation's capital. So hopefully, we can take a black and white army down there with us on on Saturday and and right some wrongs. Obviously, the club have been there recently, lost to Wigan. Will that have a bearing on what happens this week in terms of preparation and and the guys when they actually get there? I think so. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, that's probably an advertisement for how not to not to go about preparing for a final. You know, we we got caught up in in the surroundings, the occasion, um, and not the actual performance that game. And and we looked like rabbit in headlights that that day. And Wigan didn't play till crash out either. You know, they they was off as well. I think it got voted the worst final in Challenge Cup history. Um, so we definitely don't want to be involved in another performance like that and I'm, I'm confident we're not going to be. We're all expecting a cracker, the best two teams in terms of points on the table in the competition. What type of game are you expecting? I said that last time we, we played them, it was the most errors we've made all season. Um, so if Warrington want to continue to make those errors this time round, I'll be, I'll be super pleased. Um, but it's a big field, two very athletic teams, um, unbelievable surroundings, you know, 80,000 going to be there. Um, I can't wait for it, I'm really looking forward to it. The press conference had a bit of an air of a big boxing match. Both both teams confident they're going to go in there and do the business. It, it, it just, it's got that big feel about it, a huge feel about it. Yeah, uh, two very well supported clubs, two big clubs. Um, you know, And our goal at the beginning of the year was obviously to try and break this, this top four. Um, we're currently doing that at the moment and I think it's really important that we continue to do that after Saturday. And obviously, it's all about Saturday this week, but there's a lot still going on in the black and white season. Yeah, there is. Yeah, and um, you know that's where, like we said, those blokes that aren't going to participate on Saturday, you know, they've still got a huge part to play. Obviously, from now till the end of the season. Um, so making sure, you know, we put a performance in wherever you're getting the results at is important. And then then we're going to Thursday. St. Helens another another walking apart for us. So they're coming thick and fast, aren't they? Yeah, you've played in big games as a player. What's it? How different is it as a coach? Um, yeah, it's probably. I'm less nervous. I, you know, I've, I've got less nervous. I think as the year's gone on, for some bizarre reason. Um, 
Is that down to the trust you've got in your players? Possibly, I hope so. Yeah, um, you know, whether it's confidence, I don't. You know, it could be it could be that as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's a game. I, you know, I'm 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 looking forward to to experiencing it. I remember speaking to you after a defeat at Bradford a couple of years ago, and you were lost for words that day. Can you believe how far you and the team have come in such a short space of time? Um, no, I, you know, I knew which direction obviously we needed to to, to go in. But it got tested. There's no doubt about that. There, there were some bumps in the in in the road on the way, and, and I'm hoping, you know, now we can, you know, where we are currently and where we sat, we can sustain that. And I think um, when you look at the playing group and the age of the playing group and the, and the, the players we've got coming in, um, it, for me, it's sustainable, and uh, and that's you know key for, key for trying to what key in trying to trying to achieve what we're trying to build. Last one. Can you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I promise myself that, and I'll enjoy it even more if we uh, we get that result on come Saturday.